Right. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Welcome to the Terror Block. Welcome to the Terror Block. We're at <clears throat> Cafe Mox, aka Card Kingdom. Cafe Mox over there, Card Kingdom. They actually have that game section. Yeah. You can borrow games, rent out games, and go play them in the uh, in the cafe. Yeah, it's a really cool place. So uh, let's check out some of uh, some of our favorite games that we play. That we played here, yeah. Uh, that we play terribly. Yeah. Sushi Go. It's a great game. Really great game. Really easy to play. Easy instructions. Uh, it's it's fun for the whole family, but it's really quick. It's a really fast game, and if you yeah. want something to kill about 20 minutes, this it's is nice. A game. It's, a it's really basically good game. a card game where you pair different sushis together. It's a collecting as game. they as they circle around the table, yeah. uh, very, rather rather rapidly. Yeah. Uh, XCOM the board game. Never played it, but. The only thing that I know about XCOM is Kyle Blaine. Kyle Blaine's playing it. Shout yeah. out to Kyle Blaine. He's uh, actually uh, did, did a, doing a run of XCOM with uh, with us as characters. Yeah, he was doing it with us as characters. Uh, I, Kyle, I know you're a big board game enthusiast. I don't know if you played this or not. Check out the back. Have, Let's check out the back. Let's check out the back. Uh, let us know how it is because wow, that looks really, really complicated. Really complicated, but extremely but, complicated. For the really complicated games, once you actually get them, they're normally yeah, really, they're really amazing. cool. Yeah. So same with video games. Um, yeah. Same with video games. I think. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, if you have played this, let, let us know. know. Let us know. Uh, if like. you haven't, then come over. We'll play it. We'll play it. Come, come to Mox. Dude, look, X Files. Oh. And you have files. Trust no one. You have files. Paranormal investigation game. Nice, dude. That sounds pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind playing that. Either. She's kicking bumps, dude. She's kicking bumps. Zombicide. This Zombicide. is a really fun game. Um, it's uh, basically you have different characters, and then the zombie apocalypse happens, and zombies spawn at different points on the map. Oh, okay. And uh, you have to get to the safety point. Uh, there's different conditions uh, with different difficulty levels for winning, but uh, it's really fun and each character has their own kind of uh, like traits to yeah. them that make them better and worse and they start out with different weapons. It's nice. a lot of fun though. It's a really good group game. I really like these, these little dudes. Yeah, they're really cool. And then you have the big zombies, you have quick zombies, normal zombies. All kinds of zombies. It's so fun. It's yeah, this is like game. the, oh, this is the... And there's an expansion pack. This too. is the horror section for you yeah. horror fans out there. Yeah. Yeah, I love horror as much as the other person, but it, it's really game design. Just like horror movies. I love horror movies, but I love good horror movies. Yeah, something that's well crafted. Yeah. Chewy, is that you? This is pretty rad, man. Chewy mask that has actual uh, Chewbacca sounds. Oh, dude, look at the back. He even has your hoodie. Oh, yeah, he's wearing my hoodie, but it's brown. I got a black hoodie on. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll be Chewy for the movie premiere. Probably really? Probably not, though. Yeah. Probably. Dude, this is what I want to play. Check this out. Star Wars Monopoly. Look at that Luke. Can you see that Luke in there? Little Luke, little Vader. Finn and Kylo Ren. I can't really see them that well. Okay, well, let's... Oh, the they're there. Round Monopoly board? What? That's crazy. Look at the board, dude. It's round. I want to play round Monopoly. Eh, but where's jail? Where's... stuff and miniatures and of course a lot of Star Wars stuff presumably because the movie's coming out in a couple of weeks you can see over there as well tons of uh, models and different things of that kind little miniatures but there's new miniatures. classics yeah these, there's actually a miniature a whole miniatures room where you can like bring your your little uh, bring your little guys your miniatures and you can play games like Warhammer and stuff like that over there it's pretty neat I remember those it's a days. Cool place. There's a lot. Oh yeah, we used to play some Warhammer 40k. Roger and I did. I'm not proud of it. <laughs> no, I love that game. I I liked. I, I had Space Marines. What were they? Dark Dark Angels. Yeah. Yeah. I just like painting the little the little dudes. Some Munchkin. We play play the crap out of Munchkin with our friends Alex and Bonnie. Yeah. Shout out to Alex and Bonnie. 
We just played the regular. No, we played a whole bunch of different versions actually. Well, we got the we they got booster packs. Yeah. They got these little booster packs and over then, here. Like whenever we'd play here, like we played Cthulhu, we played zombies. Um, I like that one. Played what other ones? Have we, played? we never played Adventure Time. Uh, I've played Adventure Time before, but I don't think I've played it with them. This is Bang. This is uh, uh, my favorite, one of my favorite board games. <clears throat> without, is, without a board? Yeah, but it's, uh, it's a card game, I guess. But it's uh, a spaghetti western kind of game of uh, who, who's who. Yeah, there's a, there's a game that's similar to it that's like not played with an actual like cards or whatever. Yeah. But basically, one person gets to be the sheriff, and then and there's then everyone else is clouded yeah, in mystery. There's like a dep so deputies there's and deputies. some renegades and some outlaws. Uh, some renegades or a re yeah, a renegade who's kind of like uh, playing the field. Yeah, they're, they're all on their they're on their guys. own. They want everyone to die, and then the outlaws yeah. want the sheriff to die. It's yeah. A great game. They've, it's, uh, they they they've got a bullet version. Oh, there's tons of experience. the bullet. City that's not action. that's not related. Yeah, uh, but it's one of my favorite games. I think it's uh, it's one of those that's uh, it's just a lot of fun. And you yeah. play it all night and dark it really. Boring. Yeah, you get different characters each time, so yeah. it's a different experience. And different characters do different things and, and like, your different roles and stuff. And yeah. The characters aren't dictated by good or bad. They're just the characters. Yeah. And so uh, you could be the same character in multiple different facets. Yeah, they, they, have yeah, they have different abilities. Yeah, they have different abilities like game. drawing three cards instead of two and stuff. If you if you get a chance to, um, bang. Check it out. Hey everybody, we uh, we got our table. We're looking at the menu here. They've got quite a few good things. Do you know what you're getting, buddy? Uh, I think I might get the yet. cartel. The cartel is the best sandwich that they have here. That looks, it's so good. Uh, it's really weird looking at it upside down. Uh, so we're here. We're gonna. We're actually gonna play here. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna. Reg menus the way. We're playing Pandemic. Oh, we're playing Pandemic, and we are here with Kelly. Say hi, Kelly. Hi, Kelly's here. <laughs> Kelly's gonna play Pandemic with us. Raj here as well, and uh, yeah, cure some diseases. We're gonna cure. We're gonna cure some diseases. Uh, Beijing is. And then where? Chennai. This is a geography geography right. lesson here. Trying to figure out where all the, oh, it's black. Yeah, the it's countries black. are. are touching. That's not good. So we are uh, pandemicking, but our, our food just showed up. So while we're treating disease, I'd like to show you our uh, our meals, if it'll focus. Focus, come on. There we go. That's a barbecue pork with a Caesar salad. Roger over here's got his tea. He got a barbacoa uh, Caesar salad. Dude, Caesar salad with barbacoa on it, that looks amazing. Kelly, what'd you get? It's a turkey bacon ranch sandwich. Turkey bacon ranch and a salad. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna go here. So one, clear these for two, three, and then I'm gonna move Roger here so that he can just clear that one next yes. time and, and not have to use the action. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. I'm nice. really kind of worried that we're about to get an episode of cards since we haven't had any of their food. I finished my sandwich. Roger's killing it. And Atlanta, okay. There's been a pandemic on this food. Or what if you put it... We lost the first game, so now we're strategizing over the second one. I got uh, a hot chocolate. A monstrous 16-ounce glass of delicious. Like, I'm not. Uh, we just started. I'm not doing too well yet. So we we made it all the way uh, to the end here, and we we actually cured all four diseases, but, but we got hit by the outbreaks. Oh no! Too many. We one were too one. Many. We were one turn shy. That's a that's a hell of a game. Hell of a game. Well, we uh, we didn't beat pandemic, but no. hopefully we'll be back at it again at some point. Yeah. We got so close too. We were one turn, one, one turn, turn off. Uh, Last turn. Too many pops. Too many outbreaks. Too many. Uh, yeah. It's point. like it's like teenage acne. You think you're clear of it, and then just more and more. So 
thank you guys for watching, uh, and thank you guys for, for sticking around, hanging out, watching us play some Pandemic and Mox. Seeing the lights are watching in my glasses. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for, thanks hopefully, for hanging out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're ever in Seattle and you like the whole tabletop gaming experience, definitely, definitely check this place out. It's really cool. There's some links in the description and stuff. But thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next week. Bye.